Alright, sorry about that, and sorry about the video quality, uh, the battery died, so I replaced it. So what I said is that I don't like how blue striping doesn't go, it only stops at the hip, doesn't go all the way down the tail. Uh, here's Claire. And the Dilophosaurus. Now this Dilophosaurus, it's better than the ones that have been previously released by Mattel. Maybe not minus the Amber Collection. Uh, here's the Owen Escape Pack stuff. So here's a Owen in a motorcycle. Uh, here's the Atrociraptor Red, which is, this is based on. Now, I'm not really going to go into detail with the human character since this is mostly about dinosaurs, but you can leave your opinions if I should in the comments or not. So here's Red. Here's Panthera, another Atrociraptor. Now, the only thing that people don't like about Panthera is that this is the Crouching Raptor mold, which, although not a lot of people like, eh, I kind of like it. What people mostly wanted the own escape pack for, the Carnotaurus. On the Dino, on the uh, Jurassic Facts app, they call this a juvenile Carnotaurus, which is kind of confusing because it, the color scheme is kind of looks like that of a Carnotaurus demon, but mostly because they added a sculpted broken horn. Hopefully in the future, they'll uh, um, bring out a adult version of uh, this Carnotaurus or demon. Uh, the release and Rampage set, here is, uh, Santos, who, uh, spoiler alert in the movie, is responsible for controlling the Atrociraptors. So, here's the cage for Atrociraptor Ghost. You just slide this up. And here's a Crossraptor Ghost. So here so here's Ghost. Sorry about that voice crack. Uh, moving on to the to this one which you guys might have seen from a previous video. Uh, the Extreme Damage Allosaurus. I prefer this thing over the Fallen Kingdom one for the reason that it's bigger, it looks meaner, has more detail, and of course the battle damage Alberta source is battle damage. I'll just show off one roar even though you guys probably already heard it. Yeah, you have to press on the button hard in order to keep the mouth open wide enough. Alright, next will be a Sound Slashing Therizinosaurus. The only complaint uh, about this uh, that I agree with is it's a noisemaker, basically. The slightest movements and... Quite the noisemaker, which is the only complaint about it, which I agree with. And here's uh, the Thrash and Devourer T Rex, which is my favorite one of the collection. Mostly because ever since the Fallen Kingdom line, and heck, even the Hasbro line, I've always wanted a Jurassic T Rex.
Moving on to the last dino of this collection is the Ocean Protector Dominion Mosasaurs. This is the biggest one of uh, all of these. Because, well, it's the Mosasaurus. Now, the only complaint and problem I have about this is that Flipper B, or 2, it, sometimes it gets loose and it constantly pops off. Constantly pops off. Which I don't really like about it, so I'm gonna pause right here to put it back on. Alright, now I've gotta fix on and put back on. So, um... Let me set set them all back up so uh, I can end the video and show you guys uh, what they all look like. Uh, I'm actually gonna also line them up next to each other so you guys can see the um side by side comparisons between each of the lines. All right, so. Yeah, this thing's also kind of a noisemaker as well. Alright, see you guys till then. And here's the lineup and evolution of the Jurassic toys from Hasbro to Fallen Kingdom. Uh, and the rest of Mattel's toys. For Jurassic, so... Hold on a bit. Here's the evolution. And that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below about your opinion. And if you're genuinely shocked. And uh, see you guys next time. Which, I don't know when. Anyways, bye. Sorry, I'm not really used to this thing yet. Bye.